Hi friends, today I'm in Yankton without Ed, but I have two helpers with me, Bill and Tom. And today we're gonna to be showing you some applications of our service truck power kit. So we will be jump starting a vehicle and operating a grain trailer. This is a service truck power kit made by Sherco. It has four gauge wire and it attaches to the positive and negative posts on the battery. It's protected with a 120 amp reset breaker. You attach the wires, you run them along, you hide them along the line of the trailer and bring it up to the front and it comes out and it's permanently fixed here in the front. Next what we do is we'll, it's our smart wire hookup where it, it's the, the fitting is protected with the triple weather pack seal. That's important. Then you would, you would plug in our service wires onto this. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna test this trailer. What's nice about the service wiring is, is we can determine whether the, the electrical issue is on the trailer half or on the on the bat on the tractor half of the trailer by introducing this power cord we bypass the trailer and we hook it up there with it hooked now we can open and close the trailer This is another option, it's a two pole socket that mounts, you can mount it on a skid steer loader or you can mount it on a tractor, something that could be hard starting or hard to get at the battery. And so if it needs frequent jumping, you can do that. It mounts with the universal bracket on your, on your skid shooter or tractor and then goes to the battery, hooks up, and then you would just mount your service truck wire onto it. To jump. Okay, we're going to demonstrate jumping a vehicle where we need to use the extension uh, cables on. So Bill's going to plug in the power cord. That's the extension cord. Bring it over. And take out the jumper cables. Nice. You hook the batteries up course positive positive negative negative we have a very heavy duty clamp and uh, we run it across in this situation it was a long jump so we put an extension we have an extension cord that you can put in the line so it'll reach I think they're eight footers and 12 footers we plug it into the service on the trailer and we'll see if it'll start the pickup Thank you. 